girlies, what's up? Welcome back to the pod. So happy you're here. It's Carmen and this week's episode is pretty much a life update. So what I've been up to now that it's summer, officially for maybe a little over a week, which is really exciting. And since it's a life update type of episode, we're not going to be doing best and worst of the week since that doesn't really make sense. But you know, hey, happy new week new episode, fun times, a lot of exciting stuff going on, school's over, party time. So as many of you guys know, I finished junior year, which was a rough one, I would say. I mean, I would say sophomore year was personally worse for me, not necessarily academically, but I guess socially. Junior year was harder academically, but also was it that hard? Not really. I guess it depends on what classes you take, you know, but I'm just glad it's all over with and finals and AP exams are all done, which thank God, to be honest, I really did not study that much for AP exams. The only one I think I actually studied for was a push, but that was because we didn't learn all of the last unit and I was a little iffy on everything else. So pretty much what I'm saying is I didn't know any of it. But you know, I actually think that one went okay, but junior year's over. So I'm officially a rising senior, which is scary, slightly terrifying. I don't want to be here. I remember freshman year, all I wanted to be was a senior, you know, which now I don't want to be here. It truly sucks. And I feel like everyone's like, oh my gosh, yay, it's summer, I get to do so many fun things. But yes, that's true. At the same time, I have to do so much college stuff, ACT, whatever. I actually went to a not a college meeting, but I went to this meeting that my school had talking about college essay writing. And some of these essays just made no sense. And I'm like, what am I going to write about? I don't know if I've ever had anything interesting or worthwhile happen to me that I could write about. And TBH, am I that cool? Um, Don't answer that. Rhetorical question. Rhetorical question. But that's just been a lot. And then next week, I think next um, Saturday, so June 12th, I think that's the date. So June 12th, I'm going to be taking the ACT for the third freaking time. And guys, I struggle so much with taking tests. I mean, not like in school, but standardized testing. I don't know what happens. I'm just really not the best at it, which is annoying because I would say I'm a smart person generally, but I can't take a standardized test, but I'm trying to get out of that mindset, trying to... My family has gotten mad at me because I've been saying the word manifest a lot. I don't even know what manifesting is. If I'm being honest, please don't attack me. I mean, like I know what it is, but I don't know what it is if you get what I'm saying but so I've been trying to manifest over a 30 on the ACT which we'll see if that's working so I'm trying to get out of the mindset of thinking I'm gonna fail because when you think you're gonna fail you do fail I feel like I've talked about this before I probably have or earlier today I was out to brunch with my mom and my sister and it was freezing in the restaurant it was so cold but I told her I said mom I'm manifesting warmth which I don't even know if that's possible but it worked so pretty much I'm just always lying to myself but you know it's fine 10 out of 10 would recommend and if you're wondering hey Carmen what what is going on with your fit today I have some sunglasses I'm wearing a sloth shirt. That is because a good five minutes ago, I came back from the pool. Yep. Um, really, really doing great out here. I'm a little sweaty. It is the first sunny day of summer here in Kentucky. It has been raining 
torrential downpour for a good week. My mom made me drive my sister um, or pick her up from her PT appointment the other day. I don't have my license. Um, there was a torrential downpour <laughs> on like curvy roads, you know, so that was a little sketchy, but it's okay because hypothetically I should have my license and I mean, I would say I'm a pretty good driver kind of. Um, but I'm going to be taking my test soon. I'm trying to make myself take it before I leave for the Grand Canyon, which I think is um, in three weeks, maybe. I just need to learn how to park. I can do everything but park. I can back up into a parking spot. I cannot parallel park or pull into a parking spot, but I feel like that, how hard can that be? I can drive on a road, Okay. And that's the most important thing because parking, you can just park really far away from everyone so you don't have to be next to anyone, you know? So there we go. Got it all figured out. But my brother actually, he was supposed to get his permit, I think, maybe yesterday or the day before because he should have gotten it in March, but he was at boarding school so he couldn't get it because he wasn't in town or whatever. I don't really know. And my mom drove halfway across town two days in a row to take him because the first day he got the appointment day wrong. The second day, his school form that he had to bring to get his permit was expired. So now he can't get it until the 23rd, which sucks. But also, that's kind of his fault, you know. Um, But yeah, so a lot of driving stuff has been going on. I feel like I was coming over here to sit down and I was like oh my gosh I have so much to talk about so much has been happening but really all I've been doing is sitting in my room uh laying my bed watching Teen Wolf reading on my Kindle speaking of Teen Wolf um I feel so basic I can't remember if I talked about this this last week but I feel so basic but I love this show I freaking love it it's so horrible that it's so good. It's kind of like Vampire Diaries, which, you know, is like awful. I know a lot of people, they're like, it's my favorite show. No, no, sweetie. It's Vampire Diaries is truly horrible. I mean, I liked it when I watched it in sixth grade, but if I watched it now, I don't think I could get through it. I couldn't even get through it in sixth grade. Anyway, but Teen Wolf, so good. It honestly, though, a lot of the... I don't know what they're called, special effects, I guess, for the wolf makeup, look horrible. But that's because it's from 2011. So we just ignore that. Love Scott. He's the main character. He is so cute. Um, Tyler Posey, I think that's his name. Love him. Um, Dylan O'Brien's in it. If you like him, he looks horrible in this show. But he is in it. And I mean... I never really got that he was cute. I still don't get it. But he is, in fact, in Teen Wolf. So I've been watching that. I also made sure to write this down so I wouldn't forget. I recently finished a book called Kingdom of the Wicked, which I just wanted to talk about for a hot sec because it was so good. I read it in a day and I read really slow, guys. It was like 300 pages, which I feel like you're supposed to be able to read in like four hours hours five hours maybe um takes me a while I read so slowly which is annoying because I read all the time but pretty much I'll give you a quick summary we'll see how I can do but it's about this girl whose twin sister is just mysteriously murdered and no one really knows why or what did it but she Her sister, the main character, is so angry. She wants to get revenge on whoever did this. And her family is like they're witches or whatever. And her grandmother has always told her and her sister since she was younger, beware of the seven princes of hell. You know, like the seven sins, that stuff. And she's like, those aren't even real. Those aren't even real. But she ends up meeting one of them. And it's about that. And it's so good. It's not spicy, though, which was annoying. I was kind of waiting for that to happen. But, I mean, it was good. 
right now I'm reading this is so embarrassing but I don't know what the series is called but the first book is called A Touch of Darkness I'm on the third one no plot no plot okay it's good though it's good no plot that's okay though I mean we just need a meh book this week's episode is sponsored by Bruce. Bruce is an electric toothbrush that will change the way you think about brushing your teeth. With powerful sonic technology and ultra gentle bristles, the Bruce redefines what it means to have super clean teeth. It's like that feeling when you just leave the dentist. A fresh, whole mouth clean every single day. Our listeners get 15% off their total purchase with code POD15. Follow the link in the show notes and enter the code POD15 to get your exclusive discount and upgrade your oral care routine now. So probably why any of y'all clicked on this is because of prom. Because I've been saying for two weeks, oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to talk about prom. I'm going to tell you all the stuff that happened, all that. Right. Um. So here I am. Is this two weeks? A week or two later. I don't remember when prom was. It was like May 27th. What even is the date? So not that long ago, maybe a week or two. Somewhere around there. So I had prom. It was on a Thursday. Why? Um, but And it was scheduled by the parents. And at my school, they had a junior prom and a senior prom. And they made them separate, which was weird. But my sister went to senior prom and I went to junior prom because she got invited by one of the seniors. She doesn't go to my school. Um, she's just friends with a lot of the senior boys, which is weird. Um, anyways, <laughs> that causes a lot of drama in my friend group. So I went to junior prom. I got ready with who was there? three of my friends before at a friend's house and we took pictures Get ready, all the stuff. I straightened my hair actually for the first time since prom freshman year, which is kind of crazy because I was doing it and I was like, when was the last time I straightened my hair? It was prom freshman year. So that is kind of funny. I think it's because I used to be obsessed with watching hair care videos and they were like, if you have curly, wavy hair, don't straighten your hair. Heat damage. So I was like, oh my gosh, no. Because I wanted my hair to be curly, you know. And already my hair is trying to show you guys. It's not really curly. It's like kind of wavy, kind of straight. It's just like is. So pretty much it's just annoying. But I was like, oh my gosh, no. It's going to ruin my curls and air quotes, right? I don't really have curls. It's beachy waves, kind of, if that um, but I straightened it and I thought that was so weird. And I was looking at my pictures from freshman year prom and it was so cute. Um, freshman year prom honestly sucked though. I hated it with a burning passion, which awkward anyway. Um, junior prom was fun. It was at this kid's house in his indoor football field. Tell me you go to private school without telling me you go to private school, right? But he lived on a farm and he had this indoor football field. His dad is, was actually a former NFL player. I don't know if this is making it better. But honestly, it was really cool. They set it up. There was a DJ. We did line dancing, which I've never done before. I tried really hard. I have zero coordination. I wish I had videos so I could pop them up somewhere on the screen for people listening on YouTube, but sadly I do not, which also could be good for you guys because I'm feeling like that might be extremely embarrassing for me, but it was fun. I mean, I did feel very nauseous because it was pretty much jumping for two hours straight also on a turf field I took off my shoes my feet were black at the end it was so disgusting they were so dirty I had to wash it off in my friend's bathtub and even after that it wouldn't really come off but my shoes were so cute I got them for my mom um they were 
what are they called? J Lo, some random brand. But my mom and I have the same shoe size, which is really good because she wears a bunch of heels. So when I go to dances, Chef's Kiss, so helpful. But they were super shiny and sparkly. I'll actually put up a picture somewhere for people on YouTube if you want to see my fit somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, but check it out. Yeah. Um, so last year I didn't have prom because obviously of COVID. And this year we didn't really think the juniors were going to have prom, but we did. And honestly, I thought it was going to suck because... I'm trying to think who would listen. <laughs> Just because my grade is very small and a lot of the people don't like to get into it, which kind of makes it suck. Personally, when I'm at a dance, I get into it. Okay. I hate socializing. I do. It is my least favorite thing in the entire world, but I will dance. I'll go in a mosh pit. I'll do that. Will I feel like I'm dying? Yeah. Will I do it? Yes. And it's not fun if no one else does it, but God, it was so fun and <laughs> quick story time. So while I was there, this girl walked up to me. I, we don't speak, which was kind of weird, but I was trying to be friendly. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, you look so cute. And she stood in front of me and she goes, oh my gosh, Carmen, you make me feel so much better about myself. And I said, excuse me? She said, oh, it's just that you're so short. Mind you, this girl and I look like we're, we are the same exact height. Same exact height. And I just look at her. I was like, excuse me. I was like, I'm pretty sure we're the same height. She goes, no. I said, well, how tall are you? And she was like, mm, I don't really know. And I said, well, I'm almost 5'1". And she was like, oh my gosh, me too. And I was like, yeah, exactly ma'am we are the same height and I was just like okay thank you the amount of times people will point out that I'm short like I don't already know do you think you're saying something special honestly find something new it's like that movie tall girl where everyone asks her they're like hey how's the weather up there first of all that was the funniest thing about that movie that movie was funny it was horrible but that's what made it so good and so freaking hilarious. But if someone asked me that in person, I'd just start peeing my pants, okay? Like, what What are you talking about? How is that an insult? I'm not walking up to someone and I'm like, oh my god, you are so tall. Because everybody's taller than me. Then I'd have to say that to every single person I met. Except for the girl that walked up to me. She was not taller than me. And I live by that. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that is offering exceptional quality for great prices. I mean, seriously, guys, their jewelry is only starting at $39 and you are getting the cutest products. As someone who is obsessed with finding new jewelry, gold pieces, Ana Luisa is the perfect place. And I know that I am always trying to be super conscious about how I can be more sustainable and help the environment. And Ana Luisa is doing just that. They are carbon neutral and they're doing so much for the environment. And that's why I'm so happy to be supporting them. I recently received some of their products and I have to say that I am absolutely in love. The quality you get for these products is truly insane for the affordable prices. Their products are chic, perfect for everyday wear, or if you want to dress up a cute outfit. I know that I have prom coming up soon, and I will definitely be wearing some of my Ana Luisa pieces, so make sure to check out my Instagram to see them on. And y'all, you need this jewelry, and you can check it out by using the link in the description of my episode, or by going to analuisa.com slash girlygirl. You can use code girlygirl to get 10% off your order. If y'all want to match with me, you need to do this. And I can't even explain how gorgeous their products are. And y'all know me. I wouldn't bring this up if I didn't believe that you wouldn't love it. So make sure you use code girlygirl to get 10% off your order. 
I can't wait to see what y'all get. It's truly an amazing brand and they're great if you want to treat yourself or as a gift for a loved one. So check out analuisa.com slash girlygirl using code girlygirl for 10% off your next order. Also at prom, there was this one guy who I am not friends with, but we kind of talked not really maybe last winter he is extremely special interesting he actually made me a playlist um once it was all these weird rap songs which i was slightly confused by it's fine though it was a weird weird time in my life um, anyway, he, I swear he was following me there and I, I don't know if I was being paranoid, which I probably was cause I get paranoid a lot, you know, cause I'm just in public and I think someone's going to follow me or like when you're sitting in the car, you have to be like, lock the doors so no one like sex traffics me, you know, um, which I'm not trying to make fun of that. I honestly do get scared about that. So please don't come at me. I'm, I can't deal with answering people's mean comments. I try to be nice, but then also I'm trying to be nice in a petty way so they feel bad about it and take it down, you know? So if anyone has ever left me a mean comment, that's your fault. You're walking, you're walking into the mess. But this guy was like following me. I would look behind me and he'd literally be there and I would try to move away from him and he would just follow me in. Everybody was so sweaty there too. He was dripping in sweat. I was like, I was like, God, get away. And then later he literally asked my friend to hook up. So I was like, probably was paranoid. It's okay though. I don't like him, but I had a sleepover at my friend's house after and that was super fun. It was just fun being with the girls. Didn't have a date. The amount of people that asked me if I had a date was truly absurd. Um... I had someone ask me, they were like, oh my gosh, Carmen, like, who are you going with? And I was like, oh, just friends. And it was a boy. And he goes, oh, you couldn't get a date, could you? I was like, oh my gosh, first of all, rude. Second of all, who do you think you are? Do you have a date? Yeah. That's what I thought. Also, you don't need a date to go to a dance. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself so I make myself feel better. Thank you. Also, I would like to point out that I am fully vaccinated. So in case anyone's going to come at me, um, I'm fully vaccinated. So please don't. Thank you. Anyway, um, I guess now just some podcast stuff, which I don't know if this will be interesting to anybody, but I guess I'll let you guys know because nothing's really happening to me. I'm just trying to manage a bunch of stuff right now. Um, currently trying to redo my Instagram feed because if you have looked, which please don't, it is absolutely horrendous. It is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I hate it so much, but also I'm so bad with like picking colors, graphic design. It's, I would say I'm a creative person. Okay. I would say that I'm fairly decent at art. Can I create an Instagram post? Not for the life of me. I cannot and I don't know why. And it makes me sad because I see all these other people or podcasts and they have such cute pages. Like just, are you paying someone to do this? Because if so, tell me who they are. This is not an incentive for y'all to DM me. Thank you. Um... Because I have had some people DM me. I think in some episode a while ago, I mentioned that I wanted to redo my cover art. And I got a few DMs from people saying that they'd do it. And it was like these people with four followers and weren't the most professional looking artist. So I was like, hmm, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But I don't know. But I do want to update my cover art. Anyway, um... On an unrelated note, but yeah, I'm kind of bored with it. It just kind of looks ugly. I'm kind of, I guess, you know, spring cleaning. I'm trying to do that, but with the pod. Trying to get, update some stuff, make 
things look better. Cover art, feed, work on my social media game, which has been lacking. Also, oh my gosh, if you are on my newsletter, I finally sent out a newsletter yesterday for the first time since December. So, (laughs) sorry for everyone who subscribed. I truly, I got so many emails from people saying they're like, Carmen, you've said you're going to be sending emails every Sunday. Where are they? I was like, oh my gosh, crap. And then people just kept joining it. And I was like, now I actually need to do that because I hadn't been doing it because of school, you know, but I finally did. And pretty much what was on there was just like a recap of last week's episode and then a bunch of links. And just a reminder that there's an episode today, Monday, if you're listening today or whenever else you're listening but if you want to join that you definitely should I'm going to try to share some advice personal stories and of course episode reminders just so y'all can remember that there's a new episode coming out the day after the newsletter goes out which is every Sunday and then also to make sure that you listen to the episode that was that week because it was popping last week's episode was so good period horror stories I actually made a really funny TikTok about (laughs) about it I think it's funny sometimes I think I'm funny other times I'm like speaking of that the other day I was making my sister pee her pants I was so funny yesterday I truly should have recorded yesterday I was being hysterical honestly some days I'm not funny but yesterday yesterday was my day I don't even know what I was saying just everything I said made my sister laugh, but to be honest, she does laugh at everything anyone says. So I don't know if you can, how far up you can see, but I do have clothes on. This is just my leg. Also, I'm slightly sweating and I'm still sitting in a wet bathing suit because like I said, um, just got back from the pool, which was awkward because two of the lifeguards that are there were boys that I knew they aren't in my grade they're a year younger and my brother went with me and my sister to the pool and he knew them and he literally wouldn't go in the pool because he knew them which I'm sure they don't know who he is but it was just kind of awkward because I hate seeing people that I know in public you know because that's awkward oh we also saw my dentist at the pool which I didn't know he went to the neighborhood pool but hey that's cool. Haven't seen you in a hot sec. I just wanted to chat to y'all about life, what's been going on. I know some people don't like rambly episodes. I'm sorry, but a lot of people do, apparently. So there you go. Also, next week is going to be an advice episode. So if you're like, Carmen, please shut up. Literally no one cares. Hey, I get that because sometimes I'm in the mood to hear about someone's life. I want to know every single thing that's going on with someone and then other days I'm like stop I could not care less if that's you today then I appreciate you for at least sticking around or even that you're if you're here it's like the two people that are still listening like hey guys you're real ones if you're still here say hey um I don't know where you'd say hey if you're on YouTube (laughs) hey hey guys I love how I'm talking. It's funny because I talk like everybody watches on YouTube, which is so not true. I don't even know what the percentage would be, but not even half. Maybe not even 10%. Actually, maybe 10% or 5. Maybe 5% of people. But I'm talking to everyone (laughs) like they're watching on YouTube. Like, as you can see on the camera, some people can't. Carmen, stop. Also, another exciting thing, in case you haven't seen my Instagram story, which you probably won't remember because it was sometime last week for y'all, but I got sent this hair dye stuff. It's in my hair. I don't know if it washed out because I went in the pool, which mm, probably made it wash out. I don't know. But I had some darker hair dye because in case you didn't know, my hair actually isn't this dark. Uh, Yeah, I dye my hair. And I got some of that for free, which was cool because I don't have money and free stuff is fun. So thank you for that. I love receiving free things. If you guys want to send me free things, DM me and I'll give you my address. 
not so you can stalk me so you can send me stuff and I'll tag you literally I doubt anyone would want to send me free stuff it's just so honestly it's more fun receiving something that's free than like making money from something because free stuff like oh my gosh you want to give it to me me what um okay I don't know dude Also, relating back to the cover art, I actually tried to take pictures for cover art. I tried to do it on two different days in three different outfits. And every time I took a picture of myself, it just was not looking good. So I'm debating, do I just want to keep it in a graphic form or do I want a picture of myself? And me being a narcissist, of course, I'm like, yes, I want my face on it, you know, because so then everyone can look at me. But then at the same time, I can't take a freaking picture and I don't really know what to do. If you want to take away anything from this episode, just know I don't know what's going on at all. Literally, I think sometimes I act like I know what's happening, but I really don't. I think it's more of a fake it till you make it mentality, but it's been happening my entire life just wake waiting to the moment where I'll finally be like oh yeah I get it has not happened has not happened anyway thanks for listening guys this was a quick one so for all you busy summer people out there because I know I don't know if it's just me but for some reason I I watch more podcasts when I'm busy because I guess I don't want to do stuff but for the busy summer people short episodes for you trying to give you some variety for I know some people love long episodes and a lot of people despise them with a passion so for those people this episode was for you love y'all and make sure to check out the links in the description with blog newsletter join it um actually I will send emails this time yep um other stuff I don't know Make sure to use the link to get 10% off from Ana Luisa. This is the last time you're going to see it, guys. You need to get you some jewelry. I would show it on, but I was just in the pool, so I don't have it. But it's so cute, okay? It's so cute, and it's really good quality and cheap. So check it out. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the Girly Girl Podcast. And stay tuned, guys, because maybe I'll change my feed or maybe I'll just be sad about it for a few months and then finally decide to change it. We'll see. But I love you guys so much. Happy summer. I hope you're having a great week and I really appreciate you all. Bye.